feel like there's a lot of different ways that we could improve a lot of different things. <laughs> but we just you know? don't. We just, nobody ever, like, wants to, like, take the leap. We gotta... Fuck. Keep America, um, whatever the fuck it is. Bored. And whatever it was. <laughs> Never change anything. Just keep it all the same. The fucking founding fathers, man. Pieces yeah. of shit. Motherfuckers. Where would we be yeah. without the founding fathers, though? I don't even know who they are. Dude, that's how trash I am. Like... I mean... I don't know. George Washington? Yeah. <laughs> is he one of them? It's kind of crazy that we don't... We don't really know... The thing is, like, we don't really know anything about, like, this country. Like, just the <laughs> average Joe. Like, just, like, me, like, for instance. Like, I'm nowhere near uh, an intellectual... Um, but I would say that, like, you know, I'm not dumb. Like, I know, like, how certain shit works. But, like, when it comes to this country and, like, political stuff and, um, you know, like, just the whole package with that, like, I really don't know shit. Like, I don't know anything about, like, this country. Like, I know, like, the 50 states, if I looked at the map, um, I know that there's, like, two parties and I know that they usually both suck. Um... But like, other than that, like, who the fuck are the founding fathers? You know what I mean? I know they're, I know they're a bunch of colonizers, but like, what, like, you know what I mean? And then Louis, then like fucking Lewis and Clark for like Washington or something like that. And then there's like, like Columbus is sprinkled in somewhere in there. Do you remember anything out of your history book? Any of them from any point in time, like that you know for sure that that you read and you know that that's true. And if you took a test, you'd know that one thing is true. For me, Holocaust and bubonic plague. Those are the two. I got those fucking nailed down. I know everything about them. I can spit facts. I can tell you like the biological breakdown of what happens when you get the bubonic plague. I mean, I can tell you all that. And then with World War II, I've just read so many books on Auschwitz and stuff like literally just finished another one Mm -hmm. because I find it like it's fascinating obviously really fucking shitty and horrible for what they went through but I I just love those two in particular dark things but like if you're asking me like just about anything else I don't have much like there's nothing I can be like yep I couldn't couldn't. I'll be like maybe like not a single war (laughs) I have no idea when a single war ever happened. I because lean on whoever else is in conversation for those to confirm my yes. Exactly. In those things. Yeah. And like you you could you could argue that it's like, okay, well, um that person, aka me, is just like underinformed and doesn't want to take the time to like learn about this like this um, uh, like this American history and whatever, but it's like I honestly really fucking don't want to. If I don't have to, I don't want to, you know. And and it's not like, like I don't care about like people in this country enough to like want to learn that. It's like, I mean, if I'm gonna be stuck in school eight hours a day, like they should have taught me the things I needed to know in order to live. Because now it's like when I want to learn something, it's gonna be for me. Like I want to learn about how to upload on OnlyFans or I want to learn how to like, you know, (laughs) troubleshoot your computer or your iPhone sign on to Twitter. Like I, like I have other things I want to do now. I do feel like, like there are a lot of things that we did miss. I think genuinely if they taught history in a way that is like the first goal is to teach you to empathize with those situations and then they come with the facts because then I at least for me like I'd be more interested so it's like okay I can't empathize with um oh my god I'm not even gonna try and like reference anything because I will be so wrong but like I don't know like the Rosa Parks thing or or I don't know the Pocahontas like what really happened like all that kind of stuff like if they were to start with like here's some fucked up shit and then like I'd be like oh my god no fucking way and they're like yeah this literally happened and they were like here's some proof and you're like oh my god pictures I'm fucking traumatized and then they like went this is how it happened I'd be like sucked in like it's American Horror Story like I would remember everything I'd be able to I'd be passionate I mean I'd have all these things luckily by some crazy accident I have empathy for a lot of those people even though I didn't learn that shit in high in like school that much but I feel like that would I mean would that would you be more interested 
Yeah, definitely. If if it was, I mean, if it was done in a different way, I think like it, I just would have a better chance of retaining any of that information because it's not like I wasn't taught anything. It's just like I didn't retain any of it because I feel like it was probably so like not important in yeah. in my head as a kid because like I you know it's just like American history and uh, it's just a bunch of like white dudes with like wigs and shit and then like they're like you know wars and shit and there's just some bad stuff but like they didn't they don't go into like shocking like like they didn't make it real they yes, made it a textbook yes it was they a cartoony it, shitty picture yeah they made it homework they didn't make it like like oh by the way like the like this classroom wouldn't exist if we didn't murder like like hundreds of thousands of people to get here you know like like the the amount of war like all this shit that we've done like show us show us gruesome images you know like show us like shit that like really like because i mean as a kid you don't give a fuck about anything other than (sighs) your monster and your video games you know like dude you're giving me so many like thoughts oh my god you're so right you're on one i think it would have so much more impact and again this is like age appropriate like i'm not gonna fuck like my niece for example i did i tell you when she started asking me about hitler no like it, i had not brought it up i wasn't like in a world war ii phase like when she was asking about this is like let's see she's 11 now so this was maybe two years ago i think it was like two years ago maybe three she goes you know like who's hitler and I was just straight face like that. Like, you know, who's Hitler? Like, it's just it's like a fucking Sunday afternoon or whatever the fuck. <laughs> and I remember going, um, you should ask your mom about that. Um, what do you know? And then uh, time went by. It was like a week or two. And then my sister-in-law, as we're, I'm at her house with um, my niece and stuff, she goes, hey, uh, so Amelia has a question. And I thought that you might want to take the rein on this one, knowing that she had already asked me. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, she goes, you know, who's Hitler? Like, like what did he do? I was like, well, what do you know? She goes, I know he, um, I think she said he put a lot of, he put a lot of people in prison. Like, I think that's all she really had at that moment. And she knew it was wrong, but she didn't know anything else. And she's one of the fucking details. She's just like me. And that like, she's like, give me the fucked up shit. I promise. I promise I'll be responsible. But like, I don't want to give her fucking nightmares or be like thinking about this all the time. So I'm trying to like paint a vague picture. And I think this would be relatively appropriate. So I, I said, well, he did do some pretty awful things, um, but he, I, I mean, this is me being a, like, this is like a random mom moment where I'm not a mom, but I got to play mom and try and be responsible about it and not to, like, fuck her up. But I'm like, um, he was, you know, pretty sick in the head. It's like a different kind of sickness when it's in your head because you can't really see the sickness, you know, because if someone is throwing up or have a cold or coronavirus or something, you kind of can see it. But this is a different sickness and it ran in his head. Yeah. And so he did a lot of horrible things and blah, blah, blah. That's kind of how I approached it. And I just, I just kind of said, I don't think I said he murdered millions and millions of people through a gas chamber. But I mean, she wanted to know about Anne Frank. And I was like, oh, well, she had a very, very small apartment and she <laughs> had to hide in there a lot. And you'll figure that out when you're older. But I mean, she still asks me all the time. Yeah, like, it's, I mean, well, now, now that, like, she's found that, like, spicy word, like, Hitler to, you know, when she knows we all get weird. You, and, like, yeah, <laughs> she, and kids are so fucking shitty like that. Like, <laughs> I, I know I was a shitty kid like that. Like, if I, if I learned something, I definitely, like, pressed. I was definitely a little, like, it's curiosity, sponge. though. I love yeah. that. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. I mean, That's I, kids wanting to learn real things that happened. But then again, it's like, how how can you tell that like you know there's a certain point where like it's it's like too much information and i'm not like well versed in like you know you're not uh, a dad like like kids brains and how they operate you know like i'm not a dad or i don't i i've never like spent time like trying to figure it out i don't really like kids very much um (laughs) hot take (laughs) um but i just don't know how to communicate with them but it's like in that sense it's like you know you raise your kid wrong and they could become like a serial killer you know you like traumatize them and they and they can grow up fucked up and it's like so so what's the point where it's like you're teaching them like too much 
too early you know like 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 yeah would the holocaust like spiral them into like like a like a traumatized state you know i don't know i see what you're saying i think i used to think about that a lot more and then i read books on kids brains because i'm a psycho and just think i need to know everything all the time so what i understand and there's there's multiple views of thought on this one but this is there was this this thing i read in a book once that I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to use that as my rule of thumb. And it's that you want to give them just the amount of information that they'll be content with. But Mm -hmm. you obviously have to, like, lens it with, like, let's not do rated R. Let's do PG or let's do just G. Like, not Disney-fy it, but make it, like, understandable in the limited world that they know. Because it's almost like when you're in the kitchen and you're short, you can only really see above the counter, right? You can't see, you can't really reach the top covers and shit. So you don't need to go that fucking deep and dark and far away they're only down here so you can just use things in that world to kind of help them understand but you don't need to be like i don't think i'd be like yes amelia there was a time in the holocaust where there was a very very small it wasn't i don't think it was an encampment but it was like it was a place they used to dump the bodies and there was like in that small encampment it's almost like a tiny town they had Mm. you're only supposed to have i think like a couple hundred healthily living in this small little it's almost like a couple of cabins or something like that and they had 8,000 8,000 or 10,000 just bodies on bodies some are alive some are dead some are like whatever I'm not going to be like hey so anyways that happened yeah <laughs> that like, would be um so be like, cool uh, right <laughs> <laughs> like kill fuck? me oh my god 